Happy Thanksgiving! Oh, it's so good to see you guys! Hey, our monthly theme, shout out, let them know you're thankful. I hope you'll remember that this week. I want to encourage you to do it when you have visitors come to your home or maybe you make a phone call or a Zoom call. However it is that you reach out to the people that you care about and let them know you're thankful. That's what this week and that's what this season is about. I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful when I see you in person at church. I'm thankful when you join me online like you're doing right now. And so this is just a great reminder as we wrap up the month of gratitude to be sure that we show the people we love how much they mean to us. So today we're going to talk about adjusting our attitudes. Whew! Have you ever had mom or dad say that to you? Well guess what kids, it's not just for you, it's for adults too. And right now with coronavirus kind of limiting some of the stuff we can do in life, maybe it's an everyday thing we have to do. And that's okay, you know? Adjusting our attitudes um, makes the, the look out of the day even better. And so there's a question we can ask ourselves. This is what our team asks ourselves, and that is, what can we do? You might be thinking about the Christmas season and thinking of all the traditions that your family normally has and wondering, are we going to get to do those things this year? And the answer might be no. And so we have to adjust our attitudes for that and still be able to celebrate Christmas, the birth of Jesus our Savior, with joy. So when we ask ourselves that question, what can we do? Not what can't we do, but what can we do? This is what we came up with. Christmas in a box. All right, well, maybe not Christmas in a box, but Christmas with a box. And this is what we want to give your family to celebrate in the month of December. So how will you get your box? Well, we have an event planned on a Friday night in two weeks, and you'll want to come to church and pick this up. But it's not just going to be a box pickup. It's going to be a celebration. There's going to be decorations through the halls and activities and treats for you. And so we want you to not miss out on this, but sign up now. And your parents can do that on our website from the events page and let us know that you're going to be there. So we really hope you'll join us for that super special event that's going to kick off the Christmas season with lots of joy. All right, let's worship this morning. Are you ready? Here we go. Yeah, first of all, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, the real hero of tonight's game. That's, that's me. Uh, it was do or die time out there tonight, but John did what do John does. He, uh, he wins. He, he brought his A game. He, uh, he came to play. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, uh, you know, uh, you just, you just got to take it to the next level, you know? Uh, you know what I'm saying? You got to go out there and step it up. I mean, when your back's against the wall, you overcome adversity with a uh, tremendous amount of... Uh, athleticism. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, it, it wasn't a bed of roses out there tonight. No, but uh, sometimes you you gotta look through the rain to find the rainbow. Um, when life gives you lemons, you you make lemonade. Uh, yesterday is history, but tomorrow is a mystery. But today is a gift. That's why they call it the present. <laughs> hmm. No. Uh-uh, never give up uh, is what I'm trying to say. Never uh, give up. Never, uh, ever, ever, ever give up. Um, uh, what, uh, give up? No. No, never. Uh, did not think about it ever, never. To give up is never, ever. And I never, ever uh, gave up. Don't give up is what I'm trying to say. All I ask is how your game of solitaire went. Uh, no more questions? Thank you. Hey. Hey, everyone. 
everybody, I'm Brandon. And I'm John, and welcome to the So and So Show. Say, John. Yes, Brandon. Hey, how, how was your day yesterday? Uh, it was good. Oh yeah? Anything particularly fun or interesting that our viewers might enjoy hearing about? Um, oh, I had to do the same load of laundry three times because I kept forgetting to add soap to the machine. No, anything else? Our soccer game? Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, nah, no, nah, you know what? No one wants to hear about that. No, come on, tell him. Tell him, tell him, please, come on. Okay, fine. Uh, so yeah, Brandon and I joined a soccer league and got placed on the same team. And <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up, John. We had our first game yesterday, which was my first ever soccer game I've never played before. And I was awesome. Tell him what I did, John. Tell him, you know the lingo. You've been playing your whole life. Tell I, him. I don't really think they were. I scored the winning goal. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, my chair. <laughs> well, yeah, that's all right. Uh, no, I did. I did. I did. I, I kicked the ball and it went into the, uh, the goal thingy, right? Listen, I, I, mean, I mean, the ball bounced off your foot. Yeah. Bounced yeah. off your foot. Uh-huh. And then went into the goal, I sure. Know. But really, you just got lucky because the goalkeeper sneezed right when you when the ball bounced off of your foot, and that's why he was unable to make the save. No, I, the goalie didn't sneeze. That's the I, only possible explanation, Brandon. There's no way you can score a goal on purpose. Trust me, I know the difference between somebody who shot okay. a goal on purpose and someone who made a lucky shot. Okay, that was not luck, my friend. That was pure skill. Come on, don't feel bad, kiddo. I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. Did you, <sighs> did you just call me kiddo? You heard me, chief. Look, just because I'm better at soccer than you is no reason for you to get all... Better? I'm jealous. Better? Yeah. You no, think you're better than me at soccer? You, you, who's never I even mean, seen... You thought I, you, you, you threw the ball. The okay, you know what? You know what? Stand up right now. What? My, me, why? Just do it. All right, oh, okay. All right, it's time <laughs> for a penalty kick challenge. I want you to prove that your winning goal wasn't just a lucky shot. Okay. Hands. What? Forget it. <laughs> I want you to show that your pure skill and get a shot. No, you have to wait for the whistle. Huh? I don't. Oh, oh. <gasps> Hands. What? Hands. <laughs> On the line. Wait for the whistle. Right. Are you gonna blow the whistle? No. It's not fair. Why is that not fair? Because I played soccer my entire life and you play it for one game and you score the winning goal. And then everybody's cheering for you and they start chanting your name and it should be my name. They're chanting my name, my name, my name, my oh, name. Come on, John. Maybe they'll chant your name next time, buddy. Listen, hey, if you want any pointers, I'd be happy to take 15 minutes. Take just 15 minutes. Up. I would like to teach you. I can mold. You don't have You don't have to be. It's Bible story time with Cameron. Hey guys. Hey Cameron. Hey, it's been great having you this month while our friend Kellen's been away. Yeah, totally. What do you have for us today? Today we've got a parable that Jesus told. A parable, if you didn't know, is like a story with a lesson. You can read this parable yourself in the book of Matthew chapter 20. Or you can stick around and watch me tell it with the help of the So and So Show players. Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is like a man who owned land. Ha, look at my beautiful vineyard. <laughs> I wonder what a time it is. Ah, this is the first thing in the morning. <laughs> I should hire people to work for me today. So he went out and hired people to work in his vineyard. He agreed to give them the usual pay for a day's work. Hey, uh, do you want to work for me today? I'll pay you the usual pay for a day's work. 
that'd be great. Boom! <laughs> 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 the down. vineyard is that way. Oh, yeah. About nine o'clock that morning, the owner went out again to find more workers. Hey, hey, you. If you work in my vineyard, I'll pay you what's right. Sounds good. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. wait, 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 wait. You look like the same guy I hired this morning. Uh, no, 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 different guy because I got a different hat. Oh, cool, cool. Uh, the owner went out again at noon. And again at three o'clock. And the owner went out one last time at five o'clock when the workday was almost over. Oh, you don't have a job yet? No, Daddy O, nobody's hired me yet. I'll hire you. Groovy. <laughs> right on. When evening came, it was time for the workers to be paid. The workers who were hired at five o'clock were paid first. And here's the usual day's pay for you. Groovy. And here's the usual day's pay for you. And here's the usual day's pay for you. And here's the usual day's pay for you. Cool. <laughs> then it was time to pay the workers who were hired the first thing that morning. They saw what the other workers had been paid and they were getting excited. Whoa, man. If he's paying them that much for only working part of the day, I'm gonna get a whole lot more money. <laughs> and here is the usual day's pay for you. Yeah. Wait, what? No, this is the same amount that you paid that guy. You hired that guy at five o'clock. He's only been here for like an hour. I have been in that hot sun all day long. I should get way more than this. My friend, I'm being fair to you. <gasps> Did you not agree to work for the usual day's pay? Uh, well, I mean, I want to give the one I hired last the same I gave you. Do I not have the right to do what I want with my own money? Well, I, I mean... Take your money and go. And that, my friends, is how Jesus' parable ends. Give it up for the so-and-so show players. Good story, Cameron. Yeah. Didn't you say it was supposed to have a lesson at the end? Sure. I think that story can tell us a lot about what it means to have gratitude. Look at the worker who was hired first. He was so focused on what the other workers were getting paid, he forgot to be grateful for his own pay. Yeah, he had a lousy attitude. He did. But we do too sometimes, right? We want what other people have, and when we don't get it, we complain and say it isn't fair. Yeah. Yeah. Or when we do have what other people want, we brag and show off and try to make other people feel bad. Yeah. I think the important thing to remember is that God has given all of us so much. We just need to try and be grateful for it. Right as always, Cameron. Thanks. Anytime. See you guys later. Bye, Cameron. John, I think we might need a little attitude adjustment. I know. I mean, maybe... My soccer goal was a lucky shot. I, I shouldn't have bragged so much. And I should have been more grateful. I mean, we won the game because of you. I'm grateful for you, John. And I'm grateful for soccer. And also you. Reveal the question! Oh, what is keeping you from being grateful? Yeah, what are some things that can get in the way of our gratitude? Yeah, think on it. Chew on it. Chat on it. And we will catch you next time. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And this was the So and So Show. They'll be doing this in 10 years.
feeling down You pick me up Sing I'm grateful for the way you've been a friend to me. Sing. Oh, oh. And even in the deepest, darkest night, you help me see. Sing it out now. Oh, oh, oh. I just want to say thank you for the way you love me. I want to say thank you. Everything you are, I just wanna say, I just wanna say